Um, fantastic. Okay, I'm my name is Davo Smith. I'm work as a senior developer at a Moodle partner named, called Synergy Learning, um, and um, I'm just going to. I've been given ten minutes to talk about um, uh, about uh, you know working with Moodle and Collabora. So I was anticipating the very first question that many of you might be asking is, what on earth is Moodle? Um, Obviously, hopefully, some of you have come across it. Um, it uh, builds itself as the world's most popular learning management system. It's an open source uh, piece of software, uh, which uh, allows you to create um, learning management systems. So those are systems uh, which allow you to create courses. Um, and on those courses, uh, you can enrol uh, teachers and students into those courses and provide uh, sort of a learning environment with uh, all sorts of different activities, such as forums for discussions, uh, such as um, uh, sort of places where they can submit their assignments, uh, such as quizzes, uh, which allow people to uh, obviously allow uh, the teachers to assess how students are doing in their learning. Um, Moodle itself uh, supports a huge number of uh, of open source plugins, uh, which are written uh, by lots and lots of different people. I have written and published quite a few myself, and have obviously written uh, over the years, uh, written a huge number for um, uh, for different uh, organisations that obviously have contracted me uh, to do the work and my colleagues to do some of that work. And as you can see, there are currently nearly 2000 plugins available for the base core Moodle system. Uh, so Moodle itself has been around for I think about 15, 16 years. I've, I should have looked that up. Um, uh, actually, probably more closer to 19 years, come to think of it. And I've been working with about 15 of them and uh, full time for about 10 of those. Um, so I guess one of two, you're possibly starting to think now, why on earth am I talking about Moodle on a, uh, col at a Collabora event? Uh, well, the reason is that there are a couple of plugins available in Moodle plugins database um, uh, that um, allow you to integrate uh, between uh, Moodle and Collabora. So the first of these uh, is one which I actually did the development work on in the first place. And the second one uh, was actually uh, written by one of my colleagues uh, but based on the work I had done for the first one. Um, so, uh, the, uh, uh, so the first one is a Collabora collaborative document um, plugin. So what this does is it adds an activity to a course in Moodle um, and when a student clicks on that uh, it opens up uh, in a, a new, new window and opens up uh, Collabora in an iframe within that. Um, so uh, that allows you know, multiple students to uh, work together uh, on that single document uh, and uh, obviously collaborate together uh, and uh, use all the live editing features that are built into Collabora uh, so, to work together on whatever they're developing uh, or whatever they're writing. Um, and these documents uh, can be uh, initialized by the teacher, so the teacher can provide the initial text for them or upload a suitable file um, in one of the open office, uh, LibreOffice file formats uh, to start the, docu uh, start the document off. Uh, and obviously supports all the different types of documents, whether it's a sort of a, a written document, a spreadsheet uh, or a presentation, uh, which all can be edited, uh, collaborated by students. Um, other features, it also allows uh, the teacher to lock the document at some point so that they can uh, keep a sort of permanent record and students can no longer make changes to it. Um, and, um, uh, and obviously it also supports multiple groups uh, so that different uh, students would see, a uh, different group of students would see a different document which they can work on uh, to edit. Um, the second 
Uh, uh, actually, yeah, there's some of the features uh, settings that a, a teacher can set when they're first uh, setting it up. Uh, the second feature that uh, is a plugin that is available is a collaborative submissions. Now, uh, just to put this in context, Moodle has the concept of an assignment uh, within it, uh, which allows a student to submit a piece of work or a group of students to submit a piece of work. Uh, which can then be graded by the uh, teacher. I mean, there are a lot of different plugins that are available. In core Moodle, there are uh, there is a feature which just allows you to upload one or more files um, and or fill in a bit of text online. Uh, and then um, also in core Moodle, there are plugins to allow teachers to uh, annotate um, submitted files in the web browser uh, or written, provide written feedback. And there are also lots of other plugins available that let students submit uh, via recording videos or audio straight into the web browser and similarly allow teachers to provide feedback in a, in a similar way. In this case, uh, so one of my colleagues uh, wrote uh, a integration with Collabora for the assignment system so that when a student clicks on their add submission button uh, then in amongst all the different uh, form fields and different ways of submitting they may have available uh, they would also have uh, a, the, as an option of adding a Collabora embed, embedded Collabora instance uh, which would allow them to live sort of edit the text and again this supports spreadsheets it supports uh, presentations as well as just written documents like that um, uh, and uh, again once the student has completed this work then a read-only version of it is available for the teacher so that they can uh, view it and can give their feedback on uh, that document and obviously if you've uh, uh, as i've said before you can have team-based submissions and in which case all the students within that particular group or team would have access to the same collabora uh, instance and be able to uh, edit the document there so yeah once the students submitted their work uh, then uh, the, the teacher will see a list of all the students who have submitted uh, and uh, you can click on any one of these. They can see, uh, as I said earlier, a read-only version of the document and have opportunity to give feedback and grades for them. So there is, for me, a very, very quick overview of uh, some of the ways uh, in these, these two particular plugins which can be used to enable uh, students uh, you know, to collaborate using the Collabora uh, uh, server. I just want to finish off with a couple of thoughts why I think that Moodle and Collabora are actually a really good fit as two different pieces of software. Obviously, obviously both Moodle and Collabora are entirely open source projects. Uh, anyone can take the, uh, the source code. Moodle is, uh, uh, is a GPL uh, and GPL3 license. Uh, so anyone can take the source code and modify it and make their own changes to it. Second thing is that because Moodle is open source, it can be also be self-hosted. So uh, a uh, so individual organisation can choose uh, to have full control over their own data um, uh, by hosting themselves. Although obviously they have the option of contracting out to various organisations, including uh, Moodle partners such as ourselves at Synergy Learning. Uh, to actually handle the hosting on their behalf. And finally, I would say at its heart, uh, a lot of the tools within Moodle are absolutely focused on collaborative learning. So it's very much has features built in, allowing for team submissions to assignments. Uh, it has built in support for wikis. Uh, it has built in support for uh, glossaries that can be edited by different members or uh, different students and shared between the students. So at its heart, Moodle is a collaborative learning platform which encourages students uh, to work together in their learning and obviously Collabora is at its heart a system that allows multiple people to collaborate and work together on a document. Um, I think that was everything I, I was planning on saying about it. So um, thank you for listening. And does anyone have any questions? Thank you so much, Dana. That's brilliant.